Hello and welcome to the Fast Reports Academy. Today we'll continue the FastReport.net objects series, and I will show you the basics of working with a MS chart object. I will demonstrate how to add and set up a chart using a demo report as an example. So let's begin. Let's look at the master detail demo report. It has several pages with product lists. The data is about the products in storage. Each product has info about the unit price and how many units are in stock. So let's imagine that we want a chart displayed after each category. We will edit the report so each category is on its own page. And we'll add a child band to the footer and enable start new page on it too. This way we can have a data footer and a page that starts after it. So now we will add and set up our chart object. I'll resize the band and the object and we'll double click the object to access its settings. You can also choose edit in the context menu. This chart will display the value of products in stock. So firstly, the chart data source would be the products table. Then I'll remove the default series and add a pie chart. We have a lot of choices here, but let's use something simple. And the only values that should be changed here are the X value, it will be products product name, and the Y value, it will be products unit price multiplied by products units in stock. Let's also sort the data by the Y value. If the labels are looking cluttered, you can set them to outside and remove the legend. So now we have a chart after each category. However, we didn't have to set up the filter because of the way the local values are managed in FastReport. You could see the context in which the chart is. The base data band is connected to a list of all categories, and the category value is taken from it, so the chart automatically gets the filtered data. If we isolate the chart, cut it from the page, then paste it on an empty page and delete the existing one, and set the data source to products again. This setting gets reset if we copy and paste. Then it will display all of the products. In this case, we need to set up the filter manually or in some other way. For example, I will filter the data by category ID. The chart will show the values where the category's ID matches the one we set. ID 1 refers to the beverages category. And now the chart displays the products in the category we need. This was today's video about fastreport.net. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments. We have more videos about fastcube and fastreport.net, and links to the playlists are in the description.